Okay, so I've been asked several times, what do walnut shells do, and can they be burned in a pellet stove? So what I've done is a buddy of mine had a bunch of uh, walnuts, and so uh, he cracked them all for Christmas and gave me a few of them. And so what I've done is cracked them up a little bit, um, you know, so they'll feed through the auger. Uh, I'm doing this on a quadrifier stove just to kind of add to them a little bit and see what... Uh, how they'll burn. So, uh, so I got my little, uh, like I say, quadrifier pellet stove in here, and I did about a five gallon bucket of walnut shells, and uh, putting them in there so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Let me get a little light on this. Uh, so there I go, they're in the hopper, and mixing a little bit up, I'd be careful if you're doing this. I've got it running, probably should have done it out of the machine, but I've got about, oh, a 50-50 mixture in here. I've been burning it for about, I don't know, 15-20 minutes on this, but I kind of wanted to, uh, you can see where I've got a good mixture in there, and I just kind of wanted to see how they burn. I've already noticed an increase in uh, pellet temperature, or uh, heater temperature and uh, so I think it's going to work pretty well but the one thing I wanted to warn you on is uh, you don't want to put all this stuff in there this is finer stuff that will go through a uh, a little quarter inch screen you know you don't want to put anything you know that small in there um, so I'll let you know how it goes and uh, I'm going to sign off for now and let it burn for about eight hours and we'll talk about it later